Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Tier 1 Grand Finale of the India track of FLQL Season 5. Uh, we have four great finalists today participating, but before that, an introduction about our reader. Our reader today is Abhinav Das Gupta from Mumbai, who has been a question writer and contributor and mentor to us at FLQL from the first day. Abhinav, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Shresh. Lovely to be back uh, hosting one of the finals. Uh, yeah, have been a contributor since season one. And uh, so good to see FLQL becoming uh, one of the premier music leagues in the world, uh, having won the competition of the year last year at the Music Awards. So wonderful, wonderful to see the participation so far as well. People all over the world. So yeah, let's let's proceed with the finals. Uh, but before that, uh, shout out to our topic champions in the India League of the FLQL. Uh, on culture, uh, Jack Anthan, who's here in the final, stopped with 19 along with Ramesh Atreya, Piyush Kedia, and Gautam Ghosh followed. On entertainment, Samant also in the finals with a phenomenal score of 29, followed by JK Achyut Sanjay also in the finals, and Nikhil Sonde. History, Subrat Mohanty in the finals as well, 25. Then Anil Raghavan, Jack Anthan, Gautam Ghosh. It's one name, Jack Anthan. It just appears everywhere, doesn't it? Lifestyle, Saman Subramanian once again, 26. Achyut, Jay Kantan, Swapnil Bokade with 21. Media, refreshing change here. Chitkal and Ishandar topped with 23 along with Keshavatraya. Then Jay Kantan and Shom got 22 apiece. Science, Nikhil Sonde, not too, too many surprises for those of us who have quizzed with him. With 31 sort of way, way above everyone else. Saman with 23 and Amog Rakesh with 21 followed. On sports, Ramesh Natrajan and Sumanth Sarathi Datta topped with 26, followed by Subrat, Venki Srinivasan, Shom Biswas, and Aditya Narayan with 23. And finally, on world, Achyut Sanjay topped with 27, followed by Samant and Ramesh. So each of our four finalists have topped at least one section in the FLQ. Well done to all. And of course, this league would not have been what it is, but for the unwavering support of our readers from all over the country. Huge, huge shout out to all of you who've kept this league alive. Ayushman Dube, an incredible 67 games read. Kabilesh Nataraj, 58. I was fortunate to meet him last weekend in Chennai at the QFI Mixer. He was there. Shomajit C, Ushri Biswas, Chitrak Mukherjee, Harshit Rastogi, Sanveer Singh Puri, great supporter of FLQL since season one. Abza Yashasvi Singh, once again, well-known name on the reading circuit. Harish Kumare, Anush Kamandal, Ishan Purkai, and Swastik Srivastav, our top readers. Thank you very much from all of us. And, of course, a bit of a self-shout out along with my many, many worthy colleagues who have contributed to writing the questions for Season 5. Thank you very much. Thank you for your company and your and, and the great camaraderie we've had in the team. Shri Patwardhan, Rajan Tambehali, Rajiv Rai, Nitish Khadia, Arjo Priyo Ganguly, Movin Miranda, Kanika Yadav, Risum Pal, Pradeep Ramaratnam, Tanmay Rai, Shresh Shah, of course, with us here in the final. And I am the 12th man, so to say. And... Don't miss signing up for Flames Season 3 by FLQL. We start on the 28th of August, a week from now. Similar to the main league, you can join our international track. We will wish, of course, that you are here. As the poster says, or join our India track. Flames, of course, is food, fashion, lifestyle, literature, arts, architecture, music, movies, entertainment, and sports. Quite a bit of stuff covered. Join us for that on the 28th of August. And our Tier 1 finalists... Let's have a quick introduction to them. To start with, Achyut Sanjay from Munich, Germany, league ranking of five with an average kilo score of 1326. Welcome, Achyut. Thanks for being here. All the best. On seat two, Subrat Mohanty, uh, Mumbai, Bangalore, Bangalore, Thank India. Uh, first in the league, incredible performance from Subrat. And with an average kilo of 1392. This is, I think, uh, Subrat, your first FLQL final? Yes. Yeah, super, yeah. super. All the very best. You've earned this space here, and I'm sure you make yourself proud by the end of it. 
Jack Antona as opposed to Subrat, not a new face at all. Former champion, season two winner from Chennai, India. Finished second this season with an average kilo of 1380. All the very best, JK. And finally, from London, England, although we met in Chennai last weekend, Saman Subramanian, who finished third in the league with an average kilo of 1358. Saman, welcome and all the best. <laughs> All right, there we go. And All right, so welcome to the finals. Let's start if all of you are ready. On seat one, Achyut Sanjay, seat two, Subrat Mohanty, Jack Antanar on seat three, and Saman Subramanian on seat four. 30 seconds for your direct, five seconds for a pass. I'll keep the time based on clock here. Let's begin if all of you are ready. Achyut, here's question one of FLQL India tier one finals. Achyut, after casting was completed for the 1994 movie version of a book, the author commented that the actor playing the titular character was no more my blank blank than Edward G. Robinson is Red Butler. The casting was so bizarre, she said, that it was impossible to imagine how it could work. When the final movie came out, she loved the lead actor's portrayal, and to this day, she lists this book as the only one of us to have a movie adaptation that she recommends, unlike Queen of the Damned, which in her words mutilated her. Who is this picky author? Tony Morrison. Not Tony Morrison, Sobrat. Hi, Smith. Could you repeat that? Highsmith. Tisha Highsmith, no, JK? Rice. And Rice is correct. This is a reference to interview with the vampire. And vampire Lestat is who she was referring to. Tom Cruise, I think, did that. Uh, so that's Anne Rice. Good start to JK. Achyut, your question coming up. The first Indian sportswoman to win the Padma Shri on whose 80th birthday did Google produce this doodle? She was the first Asian woman to achieve what feat? So that's two parts. You need to name this person and what feat was she the first Asian woman to achieve? Pass. Passing to Samant. Is Arti Saha who swam the English Channel? It is absolutely correct. This is Arti Saha or Arti Gupta, the first Asian woman to cross the English Channel. Well done. Points on the board to Samant as well on the pass. Subrat, so, your two directs. She received the Sahitya Academy Fellowship and the Gyan Peet Award. She wrote in both Hindi and Punjabi and is best remembered for Rang Kapatta and Pinjar. A famous poem of hers was addressed to Waris Shah, the Punjabi Sufi poet. Stories have been made into films by Basu Bhattacharya and Chandra Prakash Dwivedi. Who is this writer also remembered for her unrequited love for the poet Sahir Lubya? Amrita Pritam. Amrita Pritam is absolutely correct. I see the ticket was, I think she mentions quite a few of these things. So, Brad, the first observation of which cosmological phenomenon was Science Magazine's breakthrough of the year for 2016? Albert Einstein had first predicted its existence in 1916 on the basis of his general theory of relativity. The transit of Venus? Not the Venus transit, Achyut. Gravitational waves. Gravitational waves is absolutely correct, which uh, kind of brings everyone now one point. Please, JK, your question. Among the 15 women in the Constituent Assembly of India was Gumade Dala Durgabai, a social reformer who, unlike some of her peers, failed to get elected to the first Lok Sabha, but became a member of the first planning commission. Who was Durgabai's second husband, a former finance minister of India, and the first Indian to be appointed to a position held today by Shakti Das? This is Deshmukh. Deshmukh is correct. So, Kumadi Dala Durgabai was also called Durgabai Deshmukh, married to C.D. Deshmukh, who was the first Indian governor of the Reserve Bank of India. 
position that Shaktikanta Das now holds. J.K. Ramkar, an epic poem based on the Ramayan, featuring additional scenes involving Hanuman and a mermaid named Suvarnamacha, is the national epic of which country? The royal ballet company of this country was established by the current king's grandmother, and dance dramas based on Ramkar are a mainstay of its repertoire. Just give me a moment, I will share sound. Yes, here you go. Okay, JK, so that's the question. Do you have an answer? Um, I'll say Thailand. Not Thailand, Samant. Oh, um, Cambodia. Cambodia is absolutely okay. correct. So, Ryamkar actually comes from Ramakirti, and uh, Naradam Sihamoni's grandmother established by uh, Dalai's country, Sihamoni's mother. Okay, Samant. In the Seinfeld episode, The Understudy, Frank Costanza runs into an old flame at the Korean manicurist and reveals to Elaine that amongst his other adventures in Korea, he also once spoke to this controversial book. He is said to have bought two Jesus awesome. statues from France, and he was a hell of a nice guy. Contrary to Frank's opinion of him, this person and the organization founded by him has widely been regarded as a dangerous cult, and as recently as 2022 was in the news due to Shinzo Abe's assassination. Name this religious leader or the movement founded by him. Sun Young Moon. Hello. Sorry. Yeah. I think I lost you for a bit. Someone could you repeat yeah. that? Sun Young Moon, I said. Sun, Sun Young Moon is absolutely correct. Well done. The Church of Unification. Very good answer there. Sun Young Moon or the Unification Church. Well done, Samant. Okay, the oldest botanic garden in Sweden belongs to the University of Uppsala. Who is it named after? My wife's employer, Carl Linnaeus. Carl Linnaeus is correct. Carolus Linnaeus. Linnaean taxonomy fame. All right, that's the score at the end of the first round. Round two, beginning with you, Achyut. Science Magazine awarded its Breakthrough of the Year Prize for 2022, to which observational aid developed by NASA together with the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency. The structure in question is the largest of its kind. James Webb Space Telescope. James Webb Space Telescope is correct. Well done, Achyut. Your next question, the M1A1 blank torpedo was first devised by Captain R. L. McClintock, a British officer serving in an Asian city in 1912. All the device to clear antipersonal mines, such torpedoes, it could also create breaches in barbed wire as they did for the US during D-Day, as shown in Saving Private Ryan. What is the common name of this torpedo? Bangalore torpedo. Bangalore torpedo is correct. R.L. McClintock devised them. No relation to Barbara, I believe, the Nobel laureate, it's American. Subrat. If Otis Davis of US won gold, Karl Kaufmann of Germany silver, and Malcolm Spence of South Africa bronze in 1960, who finished fourth, albeit having created a national record in the process? Milka Singh. <clears throat> Milka Singh is correct. 400 meters in 1960. The Mahadeva Temple, Madhuvancheri in Trishur, Kerala, is perhaps the most modern in terms of the prasad they offer. The temple committee believes that knowledge is the greatest gift. What prasad do they hence offer? Ten seconds. Um. Uh. Manorama yearbook. Uh, let me. You know, this is what is called an anti-prompt. In okay, okay, okay. So they just, the edge. Okay, so they just uh, give them uh, the Manorama daily. 
you know what? Uh, let me just kind of put you out of your misery and give you yeah. the points. I think you these are concept. just books. They're not necessarily yeah. okay. Manorama year books. I'm sure they have other stuff to provide as well. So, although I, I think a postmodern temple, I'm sure can provide only Manorama year books as a prasad, but we'll have to wait for that. But but I'll be kind and give you the points, Sukrat. Thank you. Okay, JK. In the scene from a 1987 film about the attempts to nab Al Capone, a certain liberty is taken by the filmmakers that is off by many years. Given that the events in this film were set in the 1930s, a noticeable hendecagram pointed image is present, which wouldn't see the light of day until 1965, courtesy a George Stanley of the Royal Military College. Which film is this still from, and what anachronism are we talking about? Um, this is the... Untouchables and uh, the modern emblem of Canada wasn't adopted until 1965. What okay, I'll give it to you. Uh, but yeah, it's the Canadian flag basically, but good enough uh, on the emblem and the untouchables, the maple leaf emblem, as you rightly pointed out, or the maple leaf flag of Canada was only decided in 1965 by George Stanley. So, well done, JK. Your next question, at the 2000 Sydney Olympics, she became the first woman since P.T. Usha in 1984 to reach a final at any Olympic event, and her crowning glory was four gold medals at the 2002 Commonwealth Games. She even made a guest appearance in the Marathi movie, Bokya Sadban. Which Arjuna Award winner is this, and which sport did she excel in? Ten seconds. Uh, this is Ashwin Nachapa and running. Nachapa and athletics, no. Uh, Achit. Anjali Bhagwat and shooting. Anjali Bhagwat or Anjali Ved Patak is absolutely correct. And shooting, it is well done. Achit on the bounce. Samant, your questions. Made by Bikaner's Maharaja Ganga Singh, this memorial temple located in Gogamandi is dedicated to a legendary warrior and saint of the North Order, Gogaji. The usual offering for this temple is one of the most important vegetable crops in Rajasthan, and devotees faced a dilemma when the price of the commodity went up a few years ago. What perishable staple is offered as a prasad? Onions. Onions is correct. Rather ironic given a lot of temple food avoids onion and garlic. This is one temple that offers onions as prasad. Great answer there by Samant. Your next direct. In Saving Private Ryan, Tom Hanks' character uses a cold M1911A1, which was designed by John Moses Browning back in 1911, hence the name. So it's M1911A1, read it that way. It had a new cartridge and a greater stopping power than its previous M1902, whose shortcomings were exposed during a war between the US and which country? A total of 4,200 Americans and 20,000 combatants from this tiny nation perished in the war. Philippines. Could you repeat that, Samant? The Philippines. Philippines is correct. Well done. This is the war with the Philippines. 1902 was when. Sorry, it sorry, can you just go down a bit? Can you just go down? Oh, this was somewhat confusing because the gun was designed in 1911. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I was wondering. Yeah, how no, no. It so, be so what it said was that. The previous version was oh, the M90 whose oh, shortcomings were yeah, exposed. Yeah. Started, right? So that's where this comes. Right? So good job, Saman, getting four of four and currently leading on six, two rounds in, but lots to play for. Round three, Achut, you're direct. In this painting by Franz Haus, Dutch militia officers are all wearing white brimmed hats made from felt and often accessorized with an ostrich feather. What name were given to these hats which derived from the supporters of King Charles I who were noted for wearing extravagant clothing?
Plan B. Seconds. Could you repeat that? Uh, plan B. Sobrat? No, pass. JK? The Cavaliers? Cavalier is correct. Uh, Laughing Cavalier by Franz Hals, if you've seen that. So this painting is called The Banquet of the Officers of the Civic Guard. So, good one on the pass by JK. Achyut, if Fernando Gonzalez and Nicola Masu of Chile won gold, Nicola Kefer and Rainer Schuttler of Germany silver, and Mario Ansic and Ivan Lugosic of Croatia bronze in 2004, which two players finished fourth after losing what turned out to be the longest match of the tournament, the Croatian duo? Pace and Bhupati. Leander Pace and Mahesh Bhupati is absolutely correct. Well done. It's closest game medal. All right, so Brath, you're direct. Today's monoclonal antibodies are made palatable by replacing as much of the mouse part of the antibody as possible with a human antibody called by what appropriate name, which brings to mind a Greek myth with half animal, half human combinations. Centaur. Not Centaur, JK. Pass. Samant. Chimera. Chimera is correct. These are called the uh, chimeric antibodies. Well done. Take Samant to seven. So, Brath, your next direct. This part of Famagusta on the island of Cyprus quickly became a tourist attraction in the early 1970s. And as a result of this demand, many hotels and high rise buildings were built. After Turkey's occupation of Famagusta, it was reduced to a ghost town. Which town are we talking about? Ten seconds. Um. Getting the context. Um, Did answer, Sabrat? No, pass. Passing to JK? Pass. Achyut? Pass. Samant? Pass. pass. All right. So it took us round three to come to the first unanswered question. Well done, people. This is Varosha or Maras. So Varosha is the ghost town in Cyprus. Tourist attraction in the 70s and sort of a spectacular fall in the industry. JK, you are direct. Which seminal achievement of 1997 was declared Breakthrough of the Year by Science Magazine in 1997? The Rosslyn Institute in Scotland was behind this advance in biology. Dolly the Clone Sheep. Dolly the Clone Sheep is absolutely correct. Well done. It's Dolly. Robert Rodriguez was always fascinated by Sergio Leone's films, which was one of the inspirations for his El Mariachi trilogy. What title did he thus give to the trilogy's final film as a nod to Leone? It's Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Once Upon a Time in Mexico is absolutely correct. And the second film was called El Mariachi. Coming to Samant, now you're to directs. Fralak Fralam, which is based on a story narrating one of the previous lives of Buddha's Bodhisattva named Rama, is the version of Ramayana popular in which country? This version is being performed by the Royal Ballet Company of the country located in the city of Luang Prabang. Uh, Laos? Laos is correct. Well done. Samant, I'll need you to be a little louder, please, if you can. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Right. Also called Camisia Rosa, these red woolen military shirts were a woman's fashion item which were baggy around the chest and arms. It was first popularized in 1860 in Italy and remained in fashion till early 20th century. Although for women, these shirts were named after which male national patriot? Garibaldi. Giuseppe Garibaldi is correct. Well done. That's six on six to Samant. And round four. Achyut, here we go. 
She won the Gyanpeet Award in 1982 for writings in Hindi, receiving the award from Margaret Thatcher. Jay Shankar Prasad, Sumitra Nandan Pan, Surya Kant, Tripathi, Nirala, and she formed the four pillars of the Chayavad movement in Hindi literature. Her works like Deep Shikha and Atit Ke Chal Chitra remain popular till date. Bye. Mm -hmm. Devi. Sorry, Achyut. Uh, Devi. Devi. <laughs> so, bro? Uh, Mahadevi. Well. well, Devi was part of the name, but not the author. Yeah. <laughs> this Mahadevi. is uh, yeah. Mahadevi Verma. It's well done, so, bro. And the four pillars of Chayavad, or as it is called. Okay, Achyut. Among the 15 women in the Constituent Assembly of India was Renuka Ray, also a subsequent member of the Lok Sabha. Which brother of Renuka Ray is often considered the father of the Indian Air Force, being the first CIC of the IAF after independence. Among the many things named after him is the most prestigious inter-school football tournament in the country. So, brother, eh? That, I think, was the founder of Sahara, no? Subrat? <laughs> Uh, Subrato Mukherjee. There we go. I, this is the moment I waited for. Subrato answering <laughs> Subrato. Exactly where the question was framed. So, <laughs> well done. This is Subrato Mukherjee, the first commander-in-chief of the Indian Air Force. The Subrato Cup is indeed named after him. As is Subrato Park, Delhi, Cantonment. All right. Subrato, your question. Early store owners in America use descriptive emblems or figures to advertise their business. Example, the poles used by barbers. But as early as the 17th century, European tobacconists used these particular figures to advertise their business. In the 20th century, users of these have reduced drastically due to multiple reasons, including sidewalk obstruction laws, cost of production, and increased racial and cultural sensitivity. They are, however, a prized collective. In the Seinfeld episode, named after this type of advertising, figure or emblem, Jerry learns a hard lesson when he gifts one of these to his friend Elaine and offends her friend Winona. So what is this type of advertising figure? Also the name of the Seinfeld episode, the blank, 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 three words. Uh Seconds. The little black pygmy. <laughs> no, JK. It's a cigar store Indian. This is the cigar store Indian. Well done. That's the name of the episode as well. So, Brat, your next question. With two bronzes in Asian Games and gold medals in the Manchester and Melbourne Commonwealth Games, she is by some metrics the most decorated Indian woman in a sport. Who is this Padmashri winner from a Meite Hindu family and what sport did she excel in? So once again, two parts. Kunjarani Devi and weightlifting. Well done, Sobrat. This is Kunjarani Devi and weightlifting. The one thing she didn't have, sadly, is an Olympic medal and hence by some metrics, most decorated Indian, one could argue, Pranapaleshwari is a claimant to that sport as well. Okay, JK, a princess of the modern necktie. These are long pieces of cloth tied around the wearer's neck. They were extremely popular from the 16th to 19th century. What item are we talking about? Yeah. Is that Kravats? Kravat is correct. I think the etymology is the same as Croet, the patience. Done. J.K., a celebrated poet in Malayalam, she won the Padma Vibhushan and Sahitya Academy Award. Some of her famous works include Mutasi, Nivedyam, and Maduvinte Katha, or the story of the acts. She is also the mother of the celebrated poet Kamala Soraya. Name her. No. Uh, nice one. Kamala Suraya was in the Kamala Das earlier, but no. Achyut? Pass. Samant? Pass. Sobrat? Pass. 
Okay, that's the second X of the day. This is Balamani Amma. That's the name we were looking for. Some other. All right, so that's uh, two directs to JK Samanth, your directs. Polyclonal antibodies are typically produced by what cells, a subtype of white blood cells. B types make antibodies and T types help kill tumor cells and help control immune responses. Common cancer is also named after these cells. Leukocytes. Sorry, Samanth, you'll have to be louder once again. Leukocytes. Uh, I'll prompt you on that, Samanth. I don't have anything more. Okay, we will pass you, Achyut. Pass. Sobrat. You can't improve on that. Pass. And JK? Pass. Okay, let's see the answer. I'm sure Samant will have a thing or two to say. These are lymphocytes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but what is cancer or oh. lymphosarcoma? <laughs> yes, lymphosarcoma, the intestine. Not. Yes, so lymphocytes are what we were referring to first. Sort of miss for Samant and third X. Samanth, your next direct, the 2010 drought caused by El Nino uncovered which Venezuelan town for the first time since it was flooded by the government in the 1980s. It is not to be confused with an elevated World Heritage Site in Bolivia. Ten seconds. Uh, is this Potosi? Potosi is absolutely correct. It's a great answer there from Samant. Potosi in Bolivia. Silver mines and all that, I think. Okay. Achut, round five. In this 2003 film, the first in the five movie franchise, Hector Barbosa is repeatedly seen holding this verdant item in his hand. Given that the film takes place in the early 1700s, the height of the pirate era, horticulturists noticed this glaring error since the item in hand wouldn't be cultivated until the 1860s. Which film you need to be specific, you know, first in the five movie franchise, so be specific. And what item named after an immigrant to Australia? Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Curse of the Black Pearl and the Granny Smith Apple. What a lovely answer. Perfectly cracked there by Achu. This is the first POTC movie, Curse of the Black Pearl and the Granny Smith Apple, which was named after this immigrant to Australia. Lovely. Smith. Yes. Uh, so, lovely answer there by Achu. Your next one coming up. The only tropical garden to be designated as UNESCO Heritage Site, this 160-plus-year-old garden is where the process for rubber extraction was perfected. This city is host to not one, but two different gardens, the modern one located next to the water. So which botanical garden are we talking about? Uh, I'll tell you uh, that as long as you have the city, it's fine. So it's just called the city. Singapore Botanical Gardens. Singapore Botanical Gardens is correct. Uh, the other one, I believe, is Gardens by the Bay. Modern one located next to the water. Quite a lovely place that one is too. Spent a bit of time there. Okay, so Brad, uh, while the author's Dirk Pitt tales have a cult following, sadly the movies don't. The 2005 adaptation of this book deserted audiences in spite of Matthew McConaughey and Penelope Cruz. Cost $160 million to make, but earned just 68. The author said this was because the producer failed to give him script control and sued for millions. The author lost and ended up being ordered to pay almost 14 million for legal fees incurred by the production company. So at least they made up half their cost, you know, 82 million. So anyway, which 1992 adventure novel involving a treasure hunt for a Confederate ironclad warship in the titular nation?
No, pasa, pasa. Pasa en tu achut. Pasa. Jeque. Clive Kessler Sahara. Sahara by Clive Kessler. It's absolutely correct. King of the shipwrecks, Kessler. So this is Sahara. Lovely answer on pass. Subrat, your next one. Which 2001 film was subtitled Once Upon a Time in India? It famously lost out to Nichia Zemlia by Danis Stanovich. Lagan. Lagan is correct. No Man's Land is the English translation of the that read it out for the Oscar. Okay, JK, your question. Whilst initially valued at just under $500 to $1,000, this piece of wedding tradition from 1937 was auctioned for over $29,000 in 1998 and was famously parodied in Seinfeld, where Elaine's boss proudly announces himself as the buyer. Incidentally, this is still the highest ever in history by far for this particular kind of item. For context, a few years ago, a piece from Charles and Diana's wedding was sold for just over £170. What specific 1937 item in question was the boss's prized possession for a brief period? Ten seconds. Is it the slice of the wedding, royal wedding cake? Uh, Which royal wedding? Uh, okay, need an answer, JK? Is Queen Elizabeth? No, I should. Um, the Edward the Eighth. Royal wedding, slice of the Edward the Eighth royal wedding cake. That will get your points. This is the wedding of Edward VIII, or the later Duke of Windsor, with uh, Wallace Simpson. And slice of the wedding cake. JK got most of it, unfortunately, not the wedding, not the fairy tale wedding. Wanted. JK, founded in 1808 by the King of Portugal to acclimatize spices from the east and the west, which botanical garden located in a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve in an urban area at the foot of a hunchback hill in the New World is famous for the Avenue of Royal Palms. Once again, if you have the city, good enough. This is Rio de Janeiro. That is correct. Botanical Gardens at the, at Rio de Janeiro, also called the Jardim Botanico, Jardim is garden in any case, so Rio de Janeiro is good enough. Samant Yoto directs coming up. In the scene from a 2023 movie, a certain anachronism is mildly visible as viewers correctly noticed. The error here is that the number is at an excess of two. Those two shouldn't have been part of it until 14 years after the events depicted in the film. While one of them was purchased 78 years before the events of the scene, it only gained its rightful status later on alongside the other one. Which film and what specific anachronism is visible here? This is Oppenheimer, and the flags have 50 stars on them. They should only have 48. That is absolutely correct, given that Alaska and Hawaii became states only in 1959. So, should have had 48 states in 1945. Utah, I think, was the 48th. Okay, Samant. Among the 15 women in the Constituent Assembly of India was Purnima Banerjee, a Gandhian who was part of the Quit India movement and who unfortunately died at the age of 40 in 1951. Which Bharat Ratna awardee, who famously hoisted the tricolor at Gwalia Tank Maidan Bombay during the same movement, was Banerjee's sister. This person would also be the first mayor of Delhi in 1958. This uh, Aruna Asaf Ali. Aruna Asaf Ali is absolutely correct. She was born Aruna Banerjee, sister of Purnima Banerjee. Aruna Asaf Ali was uh, posthumously awarded the uh, Bharat Ratna in 1997, where after she died. Okay, five rounds in. Samant on 12, JK 10, Achyut 8, and Subrat on 7. But lots to play for still. Let's begin round 6 with you, Achyut. 
Medicines like Adalimumab, uh, brand name Humira, Infliximab, Remicard, or Ustekinumab, Stellara, have provided new method to fight autoimmune diseases. Now, the suffix MAB, MAB, in their name, refers to which class of drugs which target one single antigen and are exact copies of the parent cell. And seconds. Pass. Passing to Sobrat. Pass. Saman. Monoclonal antibodies again. Monoclonal antibodies is right. a super <laughs> answer there by Saman. And that's what MAB or MAP stands for, monoclonal antibodies. Very, very good answer there. Achyut, your next one. What kind of prasad is common to the Khabiz Baba temple in Sitapur, the Parasinik Kadavu temple in Kanur, and the Kal Bhairav temple in Ujjain? Uh, meat. Not meat, Subrat. Alcohol. If it's not meat, it must be alcohol. <laughs> so, good answer by Subrat. Uh, I'll remember these names, make sure i uh, visiting some of them. Okay, so Brat, an opera titled Valmiki Pratibha was the first opera written by which then 19-year-old who had just returned from England after completing his education. This opera chronicled the transformation of Ratnakar from a thug to, a, to the sage Valmiki who wrote the Ramayana. The author himself played the role of Valmiki. H. Ten seconds. Aurobindo. Not Aurobindo. Achyut. Rabindranath Tagore. Yeah. Rabindranath Tagore is correct. That's him. Rabindranath Tagore. I think he wrote it under the pseudonym of Anu Simha. Valmiki Pratiha. Okay, so Brat, the M1A1 Thompson used by Captain John Miller in Saving Private Ryan was an improved version of the submachine gun designed by U.S. Army General John T. Thompson. It was initially made in 1918 to clear trenches in World War I, and after the war, the U.S. military lost interest in it. However, it gained notoriety in the 1920s due to a different group of people who kept it popular throughout the decade. So what reason was attributed to their revamp? You can explain it in one or two words, it's fine. Okay, this was it was used by bootleggers during prohibition to store and keep the you know to keep liquor from the authorities. Okay, not really, JK. These are the gangsters and the criminals, Al Capone's people and other other mafia people who were uh, using them. Yeah, I think. We'll give it to you for that. I mean, the Prohibition era is evident, but these are the gangsters, indeed, the Prohibition era gangsters. Tommy Gunn, also called the Chicago Piano. Bit rough there for Subrat, but JK pounds on that. All right, JK, your directs. If Nelly Korda of US won gold, Mona Inami of Japan silver, and Lydia Ko of New Zealand bronze in 2021, who finished fourth despite being in medal contention for much of the last round? This is Aditi, the golf you know. Um I need a little bit more. Aditi Ashok? Aditi Ashok is fine. Aditi the golfer is a nice name though. I'm sure she would love to be called that. But in this quiz for points, you'll need to have Aditi Ashok. But uh, nice sort of clutch answer there by JK. Your next one. The foundations of immunology, the field of research that gave us monoclonal antibodies, as you now know, 
came from Paul Ehrlich's Nobel Prize winning concept of medicine that could kill specific microbes such as bacteria which cause diseases in the body without harm. So, what slightly combative name did he give this concept? Ten seconds. Uh, 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 need an answer? It's the magic bullet. Magic bullet is correct. Once again, last moment pulling out there by JK. Well done. Uh, Eric developed Salvar Sun. And summon your two directs. Richard Matheson has been annoyed with the adaptations of his book since 1964. The first one, The Last Man on Earth, starred Vincent Price. Whilst another one, Tattoo the Omega Man, starred Charlton Heston. Before the 2007 movie version came out, he commented, I don't know why Hollywood's fascinated by my book when they never care to film it as I wrote it. True to his fears, the 2007 version completely changed the ending of the book. Which book turned movie? Same name. I am legend. Yes, Samant, we know you are. Uh, I am legend is correct. Jim Madison said uh, Smith lead role. And summon to your next one. What Bulgarian documentary is based on the books by Georgi Stoev about Bulgaria's transition period and its journey for freedom and democracy in the 1990s, like many of its former bloc countries? The title goes in a totally different direction from that of Sergio Leone's film. Once Upon a Time in the East. Once Upon a Time in the East is absolutely correct, Samant. Well done. 11 owns out of 12. Going very, very well at this stage. And in the lead with 15. We still have two rounds to go, though. Let's see how it pans out. Round 7, beginning with Achyut. In the Seinfeld episode, the sniffing accountant, Jerry has a suspicion that Jerry's accountant is a cocaine user. Kramer introduces the idea of a sting, like blank, like blank, Jerry. Elaine scoffs immediately and responds, you're going to put on a phony beard and dress up like Arab sheikhs and sit around in the same hotel room? I mean, come on. This elaborate plot was inspired by late 70s FBI sting operation that inspired the movie. Right? Hustle. What was its one-word code name that Kramer is also referencing here? It was inspired by the name of the fictitious Arab company that the FBI set up and their subsequent con. Pass. Passing to Subrat. Pass. <clears throat> Saman? Abscam. Abscam is a terrific answer there. This is what an abscam is. Okay, Achyut. Which 2010 film was loosely based on the lives of real life gangsters Haji Mastan and Dawood Ibrahim? The movie starts in 1993 when the city witnessed bomb blasts and then goes back to the days chronicling the gangster's journey. Once Upon a Time in Mumbai. Once Upon a Time in Mumbai is correct. Well done. 2010 film also takes Achyut to 10 points. Subrat, let's see if you can get to 10 as well. Founded by Princess Augusta in 1759, this venue contains the Garden Folly, the Great Pagoda, which is about 50 meters in height. It was useful for being used by the British as a munitions test site during the Great War, with holes being opened up through each floor to allow smoke bombs to be dropped from the height of the tower. It has since been opened to the public. Which royal venue are we talking about? Kensington Garden. Not Kensington. Achyut. Pass. Pass you. JK. Pass. Saman. Is that Kew Gardens? Kew the Kew Gardens. Gardens is correct. Someone sitting in London. Cracks that. Mm. These are the Kew Gardens indeed. And your next one, Subra. 15 women, as you know, are part of the Constituent Assembly of India, functional from 946 to 50 and so on. Among them was Ammu Swaminathan, who would go on to become a member of the first Lok Sabha. 
Both her daughters would make her proud, one of them being a distinguished freedom fighter who would later stand for the highest office in the land, and the other, Vaishra Laika. Name either of her. Lakshmi Sahib. Is correct. Can you name the other one? No. Uh, no. Uh, what's the name? The dance. Okay, I'll tell you. It is Mrinalini Sadabhai. Answer. So Lakshmi Sagal or Lakshmi Swaminathan, uh, head of the Rani of Chansi Brigade, who stood for President of India, lost to APJ Abdul Kalam. Probably the, arguably the best set of two people who stood for President of India. My own interpretation. Okay, JK. In Kolkata, a Kali temple built by an immigrant community is the only such settlement in India that offers a unique kind of prasad as a nod to where it is located. What kind of food is served as prasad here? Ten seconds. Chinese food. Chinese food is absolutely right. This is in a place called Tangra in Calcutta, also colloquially called Chinatown. And you have this Chinese Kali temple, as it's called there. So this Chinese food or Bengali Chinese food, as it were. Okay, JK. After the bazooka proved to be effective in the field during World War II, Dwight D. Eisenhower called it as one of the four tools of victory. The others were C-47 transport plane, which the Allied troops used extensively, the atomic bomb, which has, you know, sealed the end of the war, and another thing, which was used for multiple purposes, including cable laying, sawmilling, firefight pumpers, and field ambulances. What are we talking about? Seconds. This is the Jeep. The Jeep is correct. Great answer there by JK. This is the Jeep. Going on to summon your two questions. In 2006, which landmark proof became the first purely mathematical achievement to be recognized by Science Magazine as a breakthrough of the year? As of 2023, this is the only solved millennium problem. The Poincare conjecture. Point carry conjecture. Gregory Perelman thing solved it. Great answer. And your next one, the first Indian woman to win a gold at the Paralympic Games. Who is this Padma Shri winner? And in what which sport did she win the medal? Pass again. Pass. Pass. Very quick pass there by Saman Tachyut. Pass. Subrat. I can lake her her name. Something like lake lake her. No, that's lake not correct. Ara. No, no. JK? I'll pass. Okay, that passed everyone. Fourth X of the match. This is Deepa Malik, Malik. who won a silver in Rio 2016. Also the world number one in the javelin category, interestingly, and uh, was shot but being specialization. Uh, quite a decorated para athlete worth following. And which brings us to the last round with Samanth leading on 18, JK on 15, Achyut on 10, and Subrat on 9. Let's see which way it swings. Achyut Yama Zat Dao is the Burmese version of the Ramayana. While Yama refers to Rama, Zat Dao refers to what body of literature integral to Theravada Buddhism? They concern the previous births of Buddha in both human and animal form and are often depicted on the railings and thorns of the stupas. Jataka tales. Jataka tales is correct. It's one point. Achyut takes him to 11. Achyut Afshalam Dikla Nahaliyam Netibha Sara Sufa Talme Yosef and Yamit were some of the settlements that popped up after war in the 1960s. A decade later, due to a few political agreements, the territories were abandoned and remained mostly ghost towns. So where were these settlements built? The Sinai Peninsula. Is absolutely correct. Lovely finish there on his directs by Achyut. 
this is the Sinai Peninsula, uh, battles between Israel and the UAR, Egypt. Subrat, your last two directs. These were popular at various points in early modern and modern history, a piece of headgear that covered the temple and were often tied below wearers' necks. It also shares its name with the British word for whatever the Americans called hood. Which fashion item? Ten seconds. Bonnet. Bonnet is right. Quite incredible how there are two words in completely different fields. You know, bonnet in cars, hood in cars. Similarly, headgear is not different from red riding hood, zip and hoodies. So yeah, the metal covering, as you know, is also called a bonnet. That takes Subrat to double figures as well. Your last direct Subrat coming up. In the scene from a 2009 film that takes place in the mid-1990s, certain items are visible in everyone's possession that weren't released until 2007-8. The company in question was founded by an Oregon-based coach and is a legend in his field. Which film and what anachronistic error is visible here? Ten seconds. Okay. Um, this is Invictus, and uh, you know the anachronistic error is the the shoe. The... What about the shoes? Uh, I mean, this is the Nike shoes that came up later, not during the mid nineties. Which Nike shoes? Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Subrat. This is uh, Nike. I would go with Nike Air. Sorry, could you repeat that? Nike Air. Which Nike Air? Which Nike Air? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Oh, sorry, God. sorry. This is the worst part of the uh, Okay, all right. So I'll go with Nike Air Vapor. No. Ah, come on. Okay, I should take it away. Sorry, Sobrat. I'm so sorry about this. No, no. Uh, Achut? Uh, I'll pass I'll you. Pass. Yeah, I'll pass. JK? I'll pass. Saman? Pass. Okay, I think Subrat, you had most of it, and I'm kind of tempted since everyone else passed it to give it to you too, but that's not because what we needed was the Nike Air Legend shoes. You could argue Legend oh, was in the question, but then there is the uh, answer. Oh, yeah, uh, it is. I thought the it was name, and hence, uh, it was there in the question. It has to be in the answer, that. so apologies for that. But you had most of it. Could be. Yeah, I mean the Legend was there in the question, so. Yeah, I know. Uh, Hence, uh -huh. I'm kind of tempted to give it to you, but not sure it'll make too much of a difference anyway. It doesn't make any difference. Yeah. yeah. So, and now we come to the last four questions, which I believe will decide the winner. JK, the author perceived the director who made the movie version of this book as too rational to grasp the concept of the supernatural world, let alone the sheer inhuman evil of the blank blank. Years after the movie version was released, the author ended up working with director Mike Garris for another version of this movie that aired on ABC in 1997. Which book turned movie? This is The Shining? This is The Shining. Takes JK to 16. This is Stephen King talking about Stanley Kubrick and the Overlook Hotel. All right, here's JK. Your next one. This abandoned settlement or ghost town in Svalbard was so named because of the mountain shape nearby and not for the tall man-made structures. It was founded by Sweden and later sold to the Soviet Union and hosted the world's northernmost film festival in 2019, dedicated to the 100th anniversary of Soviet cinema. Which town?
10 seconds. Need an answer, JK. Is it steeple? No, a chut. Skyscraper. Sabrat? No pass. Samant? Pyramidin. Pyramidin is correct. And with that, we have a winner. We have a winner, gentlemen. Here you go. Pyramidin. It takes Samant to 19. Samant, you have two directs now to finish with a flourish. So tell us if Soviet Union won gold, Yugoslavia silver, and Bulgaria bronze, thanks to two strikes by Todor Diev and one by Dimitar Milanov in 1956. Which country finished fourth and in which sport? Um, India and hockey. Not India and hockey. That was the year India won the gold in hockey, in fact. Achyut? India and football. India and football is correct. India actually came close to winning an Olympic medal in football. Would you believe that? 1956, I say Rahim was the coach. I think Badru Banerjee was the captain. And yeah, that was India in football. And the last question of this season of Fundays Liga India coming up for the champion, Saman Subramanian. Saman, she won the Gyanpeet Award in 1996 for her writings in Bengali and is best known for works like Hajar Chura Shidma, Rudali, and Oranne Rodhikar, or the Rights of the Forest. Her stories have been translated into English by Gayatri Spivak. Also an ardent supporter of the rights of tribal people, just name her. Devi? <laughs> Come on, Saman, you can do better than this. Just, just for this one, I won't give you points. <laughs> Mahashweta Devi. Mahashweta Devi is correct, Saman. What a fantastic game. You finish on 20. Congratulations, Saman. You are our new Fundays Liga India champion for season five. Fantastic game. What a great game played by JK as well, who finishes second on 16. JK, tough luck towards the end, but some terrific answers and clutch moments there. Achyut, great game again. Uh, 13 to you. And Subrat playing in his first finals gets 10 as well. Fantastic game, just 5 X's out of 64. So 59 questions answered and hence a worthy tier 1 final. So thanks to all of you. Before we sign off, uh, do remember to register for Flames, uh, our flagship uh, inter-season league, so to say, which starts on the 28th of August. And we'll be back after that, which season 6 of Fundays Liga. Until then, uh, from my fellow quiz masters from the organizers of Fundays Liga, from all our readers and from all our participants. Here's goodbye for now and see you again very soon. This is Abhinav Dasgupta signing off. Thank you very Thanks, much. Guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, DG, for reading. Yeah. Thanks, DG. Thanks, DG.